Alright, welcome back. My World 67. This is G-Man. Well, I've decided to go ahead and take this 8903, which is a DC engine, and uh, take the motor out and go ahead and put in one of these diode rectifiers. I just put one in earlier in the Badlands engine that I just got on yesterday uh, with the Badlands set. Uh, it was a DC engine also. And we're going to go ahead and put one in this 8903. Now, these only will allow the engines to run, the motors to run one way. Uh, but the thing about it is, is that uh, you'll be able to run them on AC. Uh, they're 54, 50 volt. Um, the ones I'm using are 50 volt rectifier diodes. And I've got one in right here. I don't know whether you can see it or not. I can't get a very good clear picture on it. Let's see if I can get a little more light on it. And, um, but, There we go. And they work real well. Um, ben was the first one that I know that uh, had showed that and started using them. He, uh, he currently has a couple of videos on right now with all the engines that he has transferred over <coughs> from DC to AC. And so, um, a while back, I contacted him, and I had another engine that I was going to do that to, and I didn't get around to it as of yet, and so now I'm transferring all my engines over uh, also. Smell like something burning. Okay, uh, but anyway, here's what we've got, and I've just went ahead and uh, soldered it in, and the thing about these rectifier diodes uh, with any resistor, uh, it has to be put in a certain way. Now, all these have values. This has the silver stripe on the end of it, and the silver stripe must be the side and the end that attaches to the motor when you do this. If you attach it in the obverse direction, uh, the engine motor will run backwards instead of forwards, as these are directional. And so um, make sure that when you put it in, uh, that you put it in uh, with your silver stripe towards the motor. Okay, I'm going to put it back together, and uh, we're going to try it on the test track and see what happens. Okay, we got the track set up, and so um, we're going to do a test run. Now, this is not supported, and when these are not supported, and you try to test it, the motors with this these bars on there, they usually hang up, and that's what it's doing. And I didn't want to have to take this completely off. But we're going to go ahead and take it completely off. That one doesn't want to come off. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the problem is up oh, there it goes.
and these drive rods are just creating a problem for us. Sometimes you can run them okay with them on there and sometimes you can't. But anyway, what we're going to do is now we're going to take it and go ahead and put it back in its shell. And you can see here where I soldered the diode in. I usually don't come that close up to the diode. There's too much heat uh, to the diode. But we're going to go ahead and put this in its shell. And then we'll put it back on the track. And we'll try it back together. And you'll get to see uh, actually how it runs. Okay, track's up, and so uh, I've got the shell on, and uh, just to show you, this is it, DC only, I wrote on the bottom of it, I'm going to take that off, and by the way, permanent marker is not always necessarily permanent, I'll show you how to get that off. As I said, this will not reverse. If you want it to reverse, uh, as of right now, the only way to do it is to put in a switch. Uh, and that would cause it to, uh, to reverse by you switching the switch. And um, that might be something uh, that I might try to collaborate with someone else on. And we might be able to work that out. And... Um, show a video on it but as of right now if you want your DC engines to run uh, you don't buy the DC engines because uh, they won't run on AC that doesn't have to be a case you can buy those diodes I think you get eight of them or nine of them uh, they're like three dollars and some cents for a, a little pack of them and you can get them on eBay. And uh, as I say, as long as you put it in the right direction, get the 50 volt uh, diode rectifiers, it should work. No problem. Now, this motor has not been run in quite a long time because it's DC and it's just been sitting. I ran it a little bit when I first got it and actually I, whenever I get a DC motor I usually use the trucks the wheels off of them and again this is lying out so it's it's, it's an engine it, it's it's a motor that I, that, that I don't run often. Um, there are certain line of engines and trains that I like. Uh, and I buy those specifically to run on the layout. Uh, but the steamers are just so many. And I really like the Mark steamers. Um, and I, I like the old pre-war flyer steamers. But for the diesels, uh, to get a variation in diesels, I like the Lionel. And then I like the old uh, Western style Lionel. And a few of these style, like these are all modified, or, or Scout boilers is what they are. And they're all Scout type engines. Um, this one and this... Uh, 246 basically the same uh, exact boiler they modified the 246 uh, and when they went to the newer version of it in the 893s they did away with the slot here they had put a slot here each one has been a modification of the original scout boiler and that's what this is this was an exact a duplica of the original scout boiler in cast 
And so, um, not a lot of change to them. And if you've got one or two uh, of these Scout type engines, um, you're good. I might keep this one and run it. Um, I had it on my um, list to dispense with as I wasn't going to go ahead and put the uh, diode in it. But I decided since I got that Badlands set and I had to put a diode in it so I could enjoy it, I went ahead and put the diode in this too. And it will more than likely run uh, for the rest of my life and uh, be a real good serviceable engine. Because this engine, this motor has had, had hardly any wear at all. It's real dirty and dusty right now. I'll clean it up. It is missing uh, one of the uh, boiler lights. And I'm going to take one off of another. Uh, shell and put on there and it'll be good to go all right that's it for now it's G-Man my roll 67 if you have any questions or comments please feel to con feel free to contact me at G-Man 1924 at hotmail.com see you real soon as always Happy rails to you.